Hi, hello. The sea and the ocean that we know may be the sea for swimming and serving, the ocean uh, for passage of vessels and cargo ships. Today, let's take a look at the ocean as garbage patch. Yes, as a trash bin. Hard to imagine, but yeah, that's the reality of our world today, your world and my world. I am in Batam, an island strategically located in one of the world's busy stripping tract on Malacca Strait. And my hotel is at the tip of Batam Island, where I can see Singapore and Malaysia, just about three nautical miles away. So I can actually travel Batam, Singapore uh, by ferry in about 45 minutes. And there are many ferry options uh, connecting Batam to Singapore. So in the study of economy and uh, economics development, we have heard so much about this lane, um, the very importance of Strait Malacca for trade, for increasing economic growth, and indeed, as 2023 uh, data shows, there are no less than 200 ships passing through the strait every day, um, the Batam Strait and then Strait of Singapore. So do you ever think that in such busy routes, there can be higher risk for accidents and also for trash uh, thrown into the sea? Um, here comes the ugly side of human passage and trading uh, to the environment and to the people living by the uh, passing areas. First, ships going through the Straits of Batam goes from the big giant tanker, container ships, support ships, cargo ships, um, to the smaller ferries. The big tanker usually carries oil, mining products, or a liquid asphalt, you know, the black petroleum-like uh, material for sealing the streets. Uh, and then the cargo will carry goods. And before entering ports, especially the port of Singapore, there is a requirement. Some countries are stricter than others. Singapore is very strict for this. Um, all the vessels need to clean up. They need to clean the ships before entering the ports. So the debris from those ships, let's say the remaining oils, the petrol, the plastics, are thrown to the sea, thrown to the Batam Strait. Yes, trash are goes going into the Batam Strait. Number two, um, ships are just like any other vehicles on the roads. Um, there's a chance that the driver is not paying attention to the route signs, um, didn't calculate the speed uh, of the other vessels or are not quite familiar with the uh, strength of the currents in certain areas. And the Malacca Strait is especially very, very busy and the lane is relatively narrow. So what will happen? Possibly collisions. Collisions um, to other vessels, collision to rocks. There are also big rocks um, in this lane. So in any chance, what will happen? Well, goods dropped out of the vessel, oil leakage because of the collision, and again, those become trash, goes into the sea. So altogether, these trash is col called marine debris. Marine debris uh, are mostly plastics, bottles, tops, bags, packaging, um, but there are also fishing ropes, floats, equipments, glasses, light bulbs, um, cardboards, tins, you know, mostly aerosol tins, uh, and many more. So most of these uh, marine debris stay uh, in the ocean. There is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, for instance, which is the largest accumulation of ocean plastics in the world. Uh, if you can see in the picture here, it's located between Hawaii and California. Uh, it's picture with the circle number one uh, and this picture is taken from the National Geographic and it's only one of the world's accumulation zones uh, in the oceans and these garbage is accumulated where the ocean currents are swirling 
and here's a picture of how the garbage patch looks like this one is taken from Forbes magazine mm. wow it's like it's just like the garbage uh, bins in the city right so what's the impact of this garbage patch to the environment to the animal of course very dangerous uh, animal will get shocked overwhelmed and killed how about the impact to humankind why don't you comment on the comment box below what do you think will be the impact of this accumulation of garbage patch so it's time to change our lifestyle and to be wise about throwing managing and processing our trash what we left behind very dirty comes back with us even dirtier and more dangerous in indonesia there are initiatives to uh, clean the oceans uh, and the uh, fresh waters so before going to the oceans the fresh waters are, can also be cleaned to reduce marine debris uh, there's a group called ocean kita for instance it's a cooperation between indonesia and france uh, they provide trawl nets uh, like this in the picture there are different sizes uh, where they basically pull out and collect trashes and then the uh, people in the group will help uh, provide um, uh, processing uh, separating all the uh, collected debris and then they sell those who can still be sold other can be processed to create new products well, if you or your community needs equipments like this, you can look up other sources of uh, information because I'm not sponsored by this group, especially. I'm just sharing the reality that there are initiatives like this um, so that we, uh, in the in the future, in the our near uh, uh, future, can help uh, our environment clean up our acts. Look around you. Let's help clean up uh, our environment. Until the next episode, bye-bye.